Welcome to Lemons.com in our lab video series in BGP. You can find a complete list of BGP video on our website by clicking on the link above and sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In this video, we're going to look at BGP miscellaneous features, and these are some of the features that QuantKite placed them in their own topic. So I'll kind of put them together in this video. And this includes how to remove a private AS if you have a private AS being used in your network and you can't quite advertise that to the public internet. Then that's what this feature is for. And then we have the local AS where it might help you to integrate or migrate from an old AS number to a new AS number. Then we have the allow AS that allows the route that contains your own AS number to be learned, which basically override the default loop prevention behavior with the AS path in the BGP. And then we're going to tweak the BGP timer to kind of speed up our convergence and provide some additional security with the MD5 authentication between the BGP peers. So for our lab topology, we have seven routers, R1 through R7, and these routers are has been configured with either IBGP or EBGP as shown in the diagram. And their loopback 10 through 12 has also been advertised to BGP, and all of these has been configured in the previous lab. So we're going to pick up where we left off to, at the ends of the video RS0061. So that's going to be our starting configuration. So let's start with our task number one with the removal of the private AS number. And just so you know, the private AS number is the AS number that goes between 64.512 to the 65.535. So here we need to configure routers in AS100 to remove the AS65.123, the R router 7s it's a part of from the routes being advertised externally. So obviously 65.123 is a part of the private AS range. And here just to show you in the diagram, we have our 65.123 routes being advertised to R2, so we need to make sure that R1 and R2 does not include that private AS on those routes being advertised to R3 and R4. Okay, so before we start, let's get onto the R3, show IP BGP, and do a regex filter only for the routes that's passed through 65123. And you can see that the private AS is still part of the AS path on these routes. Same goes with the routes being seen by R4, 65. 123. Now on the router 1, or R1, we're going to configure the removal of the private AS number from the AS path on those routes. So the command is part of a neighbor command going towards router 3, so dot 3, and then the option that you want, it's called remove private AS. Okay, so you can see right here, remove private AS number from the outbound updates. And then just enter. Make sure we clear, I'll do a outbound route refresh. 123.3 out. Okay, we have to do the same thing on router 2. Router BGP 100, neighbor. 123.4, remove private AS. Do clear IP BGP out. Right, let's give it a second. Now, going back onto router 3, I'm just going to up arrow. And you can see we can no longer find any routes that has the AS65123 as part of the AS path. Okay, the same is true for what being seen by router R4. So now if we do show IP BGP 7700, longer. And I can see those three routes no longer contain 65123 or the private AS number. Okay, do the same check on R4. And we're seeing the same thing. Okay, so the route looks like as if it's actually being originated from the AS100 itself. All right, so that's the remove private AS feature, and that completes our task number one. Okay, moving down to our task number two with the local AS features. Here we have to change the AS number on our router R7 to AS number 400, and we need to make sure that the BGP session to R2 from R7 is maintained without us having to reconfigure the router R2. Okay, so what we're trying to achieve here is to renumber the AS number on our router R7. So what the local AS feature allows us to do is for the router to pretend to be or part of the AS number that's actually not. So here we can convert R7 to AS400, but we want it to appear to R2 that it's still coming from an AS65123, and that way the R2 is not aware of any changes whatsoever on R7 and it doesn't require any reconfiguration on R2. So this feature will comes in handy when you're trying to migrate from one AS to another without needing the peer to update the configuration on the other side. Okay, so getting on to R7. First, we get removed completely. Actually, let me do this. 
just just so that we have uh, what's currently configured so we can easily copy and paste that back let me also bring up our notepad and have that ready so what we're going to do is just to copy that whole section and then obviously we're going to do a no of the router bgp and then replace that with router bgp 400 we keep that the same we can remove pretty much all of these we just need the graceful restart command and since it's part of the address family vrf bgp we need that as well so we can just go ahead and copy and paste all that and now we're just going to have to give it a second for the bgp to come back up As you can see that if you do, we do the show IP BGP commands, the AS number of router R7 has already been changed to 400. As you can see that router R7 is receiving a complaint from R2 that it's seeing an incorrect AS, and that's because we have not applied the local AS command. Just want to show you that what happened when the AS number has been changed and now R2 is noticing it. So now we're going to get back under the router BGP 400, the address family IPv4, VRF BGP, and now we're going to apply the local AS command. And the description for that is just a specified local AS number. So local AS. And we want it to appear to R2 to be a part of 65123. Okay, so before R2 is seeing R7 to be in the AS400, and now R2 should start seeing R7 coming from 65123 one more time. And in a few seconds here, the BGP should come back right there. Okay, we show IP BGP summary. You can see now we have our session back while the R7 is a part of AS400. And as far as R2 is concerned, it's still thinking that R7 is a part of 65.123 with one noticeable change in that if you look at the route itself, you can see that now the route also contains the AS400, okay, in addition to the original just the 65.123 in the AS path. Okay, so some of you might think this feature is might be similar to the ASPath prepend, but it's actually not because if you were to use the ASPath prepend with 65.123, that value is actually going to show up after the actual AS number of the source. So it's actually going to show up as 465.123 as opposed to if you use the local AS, the AS number that you're trying to prepend is actually show up as the last AS number in the path, like how we are seeing it right here. Before we move on to the next task, I just want to show you one more thing, and that is if we go back to router out 3 if you remember, in the previous task, we're trying to remove the private AS number from the route, and now if you go back and trying to do a show IP BGP with the regex of 65.123, you can see that once again, the router out 3 and R4, you can see right here, uh, now start seeing the private AS as part of the AS path. And this is because the feature of the remove private AS does not take effect if the route contains both private and public AS number. If you remember originally, the routes from R7 only contains the private AS, and that's why the command remove private AS worked just fine. But now that we also have the regular AS number, number 400, as part of AS path and those routes, that uh, remove private AS features no longer work with these particular routes. Okay, so that completes our task number two.